Attack a bot. Can't even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to for Lota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. Nice toss, Cap. Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. You should know. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pasheng Fong. Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. I can't believe it. I actually found Virgil some mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Virgil's a smart man. And a reliable medic. Until he got our pilot shot, you mean? Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Hopefully won't need these anytime soon. After this week, maybe keep them close by. Can't tell whether the Belta ship was attacked by both sides or caught in the middle. Either way, it didn't stand a chance. So the MCRM was chasing the Beltas because they stole something. Only need one ship to chase someone. Why'd they bring our whole fleet? The Martians didn't want the UNN to intercept the stolen tech first. They sent a fleet to keep them away. And the UNN reacted the way they always do. With guns.
I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayon. Rayon, how's that leg doing? A little sore still, but better. Thanks again for saving it, Cap. A little sore? It should be gone entirely, unless you think we can eat it or use it as a torpedo. Because we may have to, with how low our supplies are. We'll figure something out. Got some juice here. We're running low after the past week. Any longer in the crash couch and I'll stop pissing that stuff. I hope Khan's surgery goes well. For her sake and Virgil's. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock was amazing. I want to high five it, but it's still covered in some really unspeakable substances. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Gotta be something in here that can help Arlen. I'm in. Hmm, another blast door. Pushing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. This data cube hacker might be useful. Sure, might let you bring. You can always retreat to some. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. Enough. I've had a very long week. Hey, Khan. Resting. 
Go away. <clears throat> I found this cigar on the Urshinabi. Thought you might want it. But I could always give it to the twins. Don't you dare still. give it to those two morons. They'd use it as a butt plug or something. <laughs> It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Cox won't be coming out of his cell for a long time. Might as well give him some company. Boss man. What's on your mind, Captain? I found some mushroom powder for you to cook with. <sighs> Bursting with umami. Yes, Virgil. Will do, Captain. Good doctor hiding. Encrypted. But I picked up a data cube hacker in that ship graveyard. Should tell me what Virgil is hiding. Hopefully this data hacker I found still works. Bingo. Apparently there's a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier.
So Virgil's not even Virgil. Whatever he's hiding, it was enough to make him change his entire identity. Not only did Virgil hide his UNN service and his real name, he's also wanted by his own government for desertion. I should try to get more information from him. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. I'll decide what I like and don't like. Well? It's a beautiful song. But I settle it. Are you talking about sex? Only one way to find out. Hey, Cox. Catch. <sighs> the word you're looking for is thanks. Thanks. 